Alright, so I finally get to fight a decent She-Hulk team here in a war, and I thought I'd go through some of the fight process, what happens, and how to use Power Armor 2 against the Fantastic Four plus She-Hulk minus, um, I guess you leave out Namor in this case. So, uh, real quick, just to look at her kit on msf.gg here, um, she applies defense down on her basic, although she doesn't really get to her basic all that much. Um, she reduces target speed on her special here, even if it's only at level six. Uh, she also heals for 30% of her max health, which is a lot. And then attack primary target with her ult, which is the first thing she does and applies stun. Uh, and apply taunt to most injured enemy. And then on war defense, attack the target with the most damage for 360%, ignoring taunt and applying stun as well. So this is kind of an interesting move here, uh, just the way that this battle works and so we'll go into that once we get into the fight here but she also applies taunt to enemy with the most uh damage done to them at that point uh, which can also be a problem if they happen to hit the right target early on um, so there's a bit of rng to this fight but uh, it just depends on what the ai chooses to target and the last thing here she has this uh passive which uh, heals self for 15 percent every turn uh, on stealth um, she'll gain taunt and heal self so that's the idea with the synergy with invisible woman special and then gain 10% damage per charged and yeah so when she gets a uh, whenever somebody attacks a fantastic four ally she gets a charge much like thor um you know same idea but in this case uh once she gets fully charged at you know five stacks she transfers all negative effects from herself to you and each fantastic four ally to the enemy with the most damage so again that may per that person may already be taunted as well uh, <laughs> depending on where we are in the the fight and uh and then attack that enemy uh with the most damage uh so in this case would be like war machine with power armor and uh do 200 percent damage plus uh, uh, hit all the adjacent allies for 150 percent damage and then removed all the charges and then on war defense uh she also gains 30 percent damage for self and all fantastic four allies so that will multiply with all these other damage buffs here which is uh pretty significant um so we'll see here uh i recorded this fight just now uh, i thought it was interesting enough to go through um so we'll take a look at this and just get through it um so if you want to stop here for a sec when i get to my power armor i just want to show the team a little bit i was thinking of using x-men initially and then i switched to power armor because i've heard this is a good counter but my team is 399k it's uh 70k for red rescue uh 66k for red iron man and a 87k tier 13 falcon with four reds uh my war machine is pretty big with 100k uh remember this is with armory though so the buff uh, does help and give them another 15 20k power but six red war machine does help a lot uh, he's going to do a lot of damage here especially early on and then rescue has four reds and we put protector on her and rescue or uh, her and uh, ironheart to keep them alive a little bit longer because really all we have to do is get them to turn two get everybody to turn two and you're in really good shape to do a lot of damage dull out all those debuffs um, and then just clean up whatever happens to be left over after the uh, falcon war machine and iron man attacks so we'll go through here and uh, let's look at the team we're facing. We have, uh, it looks like all tier 12s on this, so they aren't incredibly huge. Um, still a good size though, 80 to 99K, depending on the character. And so they're they're pretty beefy. An 80K She-Hulk is pretty powerful. And she has the heal uh, ISO on her. I put Ra Raider on all of my three damage dealers because they do a lot of hits and hit a lot of targets. So Raider makes the most sense. Plus there's a lot of crit in their kit from Iron Man passive. For, invis for Invisible Woman on these guys, um, I, I think these are, I don't know if these are the best ISOs for them. Um, I'd probably go Striker for Torch, uh, Skirmisher for like Fantastic and yeah, maybe Invisible Woman. I don't know. I think Invisible Woman could do better as a healer too, but you never know. Um, but anyways, that's, uh, that's what they chose here. Um, for War Defense, there may be a more optimal setup, uh, but we'll see here. So let's get to it. I'm going to skip ahead here, skip the loading screen a little bit, and we'll get into the fight. Okay, so first things first, um, they get all their buffs on spawn here. And so notice that they all get the offense up and uh, from the torch uh, special, right? Um, or no, it's just on spawn. Um, but he's going to give them another offense up with a special. And they all start with defense up and then a bunch of deflects because, uh, you know, that's just how it is. Um, so we do the rescue uh, barrier and regen. Um, they hit Ironheart to start, which is 
ideal for me because um, she can take a few hits and then she gets a barrier and heals back up immediately because she goes right after rescue. If they hit rescue first, well, that's a little bit more dicey. So first thing you have to choose here is who are you going to ability block? So obviously you can't do Torch because he's just going to flip it. Uh, I would imagine She-Hulk has pretty good resistance, but there's nothing I'm really worried about from her kit that uh, I need to ability block. But I go for Invisible Woman in this case and for two reasons. Uh, one, we want to prevent the offense down plus um, barrier for everybody. It's really the barrier that matters because the offense down will get dispelled uh, by Rescue's ult. But want to do that, but I also want to reduce her turn meter too because I don't want her getting to her second uh, attack and you know stealthing everybody and putting defense up at the wrong time. So again, we're going to hit right in the middle here. I did kind of make a mistake here. I was just clearing... Um, the deflects but what I should have done was targeted fantastic because the three squishies on the left there are the ones that I need to get down as fast as possible and had I done this special on torch he would actually die a lot sooner in the fight but no matter it's still it's it's okay now here's the thing removing all those deflex with the war machine special is great you know it opens them up for more damage later but that since they all have buffs, look at that. You get 75% turn meter from Falcon Special because it's 25% plus 10% per enemy with a buff. So it's 75% turn meter, which is just incredibly fast. And that's what makes this team so good. So if you can get there without staggering your turns and everything, then it just flows really well and does a lot of damage. Uh, for this one, I just do the Iron Man Special here because it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it'll take away a deflect from Johnny Storm and She-Hulk. And I figure why not? It'll just open them up to more damage later. And here we go. Now look, Invisible Woman still hasn't taken a turn, nor has She-Hulk. This is incredibly important here because we're getting to Rescue's second turn before they get to go, which means we're applying immunity. Now I did not have to hit She-Hulk with the Ironheart special in order to slow her down enough to where uh, she would get to stun somebody before this uh, immunity gets put out there. But since um, my Rescue goes first, she puts out immunity and that makes the She-Hulk stun um, moot <laughs> now one thing that does happen right there and let me rewind this here for a sec so you can see we're applying the defense down to everybody right and what's happening is she hawks hitting her fifth charge at this point this is the fifth attack that's hit a fantastic four ally which means that she's going to clear all those debuffs and send them right back to uh, the enemy with the most damage which in this case would be war machine however since he has immunity those def defense downs actually don't come back to him <clears throat> Right, so she throws a rock at him um, because you know that's just what she does. That was her court order passive, which is the attack the enemy with the most damage for 200% damage, and then damage all adjacent targets for 150% damage, and then removed her st charge stack. Now we get the war machine alt before Invisible Woman gets another turn, um, or a turn, I guess in this case. <laughs> she already got yeah no, she got one turn to remove the ability block, but yeah. So we're gonna do a bunch of damage here. We're gonna almost kill her. She's uh, she takes 126 damage. Mr. Fantastic takes 151 with a critical hit. And then Johnny Storm takes only 77k. Um, but they get the barrier off anyway. However, they didn't get to the special yet, so we don't get stuck on She-Hulk's taunt, which is really important. You don't want get you don't, you don't want Invisible Woman getting to her special because then she's gonna stealth everybody, give them defense up, and then She-Hulk's gonna taunt. You're gonna get stuck on her for a while. All right, so next thing, we got the Falcon ult, which is going to double tap all the guys with the buffs, which is everybody still, because they have a lot of buffs on this team. And you can see here, there's some critical hits because of the Raider and just his general base crit plus Iron Man's passive. It's doing a lot of damage. Um, you can see there it almost kills Johnny Storm. That's what I was saying earlier. Had I done the special into Fantastic and done a little bit more damage to Storm earlier, or Johnny Storm, he would have gone down by now. And instead, I'm just going to have to waste one attack on him. And um, the only reason why I'm doing this is um, I just want to make sure I get him down early um, because he's he's the only danger at this point. Because at this point, I think I, I feel like I've won the match, right? As long as I got those three down. Um, thing is the uh, top priority here, I think, to just get him down since he's a bit lower already. Because uh, She-Hulk's going to take a lot of damage to get down. So um, try to slow him, try to slow her. They resist it, of course. Uh, but I figure let's just keep wha wailing away at uh, thing. Now, she throws a rock at uh, War Machine, and it knocks him out of commission. So um, 
that kind of sucks losing a war machine this early and uh, you know had i had a smaller war machine maybe it doesn't even make it this far so you know you keep that in mind too when you're thinking about using pa2 with your your team um but this is a punch up so you know maybe at even power it's a little bit more reliable um and maybe a better counter that way but uh if you have if you have most of your power in falcon iron man and war machine you should be okay you just need iron heart and rescue to make it to their second turn and then you're gold so uh again i opt for just a basic here i was going to save the alt for uh she hulk just because um i didn't really need to waste his alt on you know an almost dead thing and then here we just do another speed up we get a little bit more off of her buff and then there 100k damage even without any offense up he just yeah he's he's pretty powerful so we'll go ahead and reduce her turn meter here put apply ability block and then falcon finishes her off so it's kind of an interesting fight at least um it does change things up a little bit for war defense but the main thing is is that it takes a great offensive team away from your attack and so to me this is not necessarily worth it um maybe right now it is when people don't really know what they're doing and i think the new teams when they come out like this and there's a little bit of a rework um, you tend to get a couple defense wins here and there because people just don't know what to do with them and they're exploring ideas and different attack options or they're overkilling it with a really good attack team like an x-force or black order or an x-men or something like that but uh, this seems like a pretty solid counter it's a okay it's a 45k punch up and you know if they had like some crazy red stars on one of them you know like maybe it was like 120k invisible woman I mean, this would have been a lot more difficult um but the other thing i would like to comment on real quick is just the defense setup here if we go back a little bit right remember right at the beginning here um i'm thinking i need to ability block invisible woman regardless of where she is now the thing is with iron hearts special it does rewind turn meter 15 percent on all adjacent allies right so if i'm putting them on defense i actually think invisible woman needs to be on the left corner um away from everybody else or opposite of uh, you know human torch because he's pretty fragile right so what i would probably do here is swap invisible woman and she hulk's positions and the reason why is because those two are going to like you want them to focus she hulk if you can so her being in the middle is fine um she may take some extra damage from like a war machine special or whatever from the splash um but the idea is is that they have to ability block invisible woman so if she if if you're rewinding turn meter on thing yeah it's probably not a big deal right um but getting it rewound on both thing and fantastic is a little bit worse and um makes it probably not the optimal setup so i would say um for defense probably put invisible woman on the side and then put either she hulk behind her or thing but i kind of like the idea of thing being behind invisible woman and she hulk because he does those retaliation hits and since invisible woman should be the focus if you have a really big one it's going to be hard to knock her off without taking some damage from things some extra attacks and then also uh, potentially getting stuck on uh, she hulk if invisible woman can actually survive to her second turn and then you get those uh a secondary attacks on splash damage which most of this team does uh from thing getting attacked by uh the adjacent attacks next to uh she hulk so they, it's an interesting team but it's not game breaking this isn't even i wouldn't even say this is top five defense right now um maybe if they're all tier 14 and just geared to the teeth and you know six red stars maybe it would be something really really powerful uh, but to me this isn't game breaking this isn't insane i would rather build doc ock as six combo uh right now than than this um and i certainly am not going to spend money on she hulk that's for sure <laughs> but uh, i wanted to show this team i wanted to show this fight and show how it goes i thought it was pretty interesting um i don't know how much information there is out there about this team but this is the first good fight that i really got to try against them that was a reasonable amount of power instead of trying to punch up like 150,000, uh which of course did not work out very well <laughs> <laughs> but uh 50k yeah that works uh you just gotta make sure you got decent damage dealers or else you're not gonna be able to get them down fast enough so if you got like 100k rescue and iron heart well then your team's gonna be uh inflated in its actual ability to kill this team and you gotta keep that in mind so you're not uh comparing apples and oranges here right so be sure to make sure that your falcon and war machine are pumped and then third 
you know, make sure Iron Man can do a little bit of damage and, you know, knock off about 100k on his ult. And uh, he should be pretty good to go. Uh, but for the most part, this, was, uh, this wasn't too bad of a fight. Um, I think I, I'd feel pretty confident in calling this a good counter. And I think this is the, the way to go as far as being efficient with your war attacks. If you can use your PA2 and you already got them decently built, you know, look for these F4 variants uh, out there and uh, try to try to take one out with, you know, similar or just a little bit higher power if you can. And that'll be probably the best use of your power armor too at this point. Either that or maybe against Young Avengers. That's also a pretty good punch up and they can punch up very high against Young Avengers as you've probably seen in some of my other videos so uh that's it uh that's all i wanted to show i just wanted to give you guys a uh, heads up on this fight and how it works and uh just break it down for you so thanks for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you later